I would like to check on the farm this morning. I stopped receiving a signal from the Grobot sometime last night. We don't want to run out of food. I know I nag you about this, but it's really about time we started doing some real science. How about adding animals to the infotarium? Another perfectly good piece of desev equipment ruined. Did that beast of yours destroy it, ungrateful pest? Give her a break, Riggs. She's an orphan. Yes. You're right. I know. You could scan that, for example. better condition if those confounded pterosaurs hadn't started roosting on the cliffside, mischievous pests. Well, look at this. It's already learned that the Grobot is a source of food. You know, sometimes I worry it is wastefully stupid. Other times I worry it is dangerously clever. The Grobot is offline. That's why there's no signal. Your well-being is dependent on having a reliable source of food. Getting this online again is a priority. I have my suspicions about who's responsible. Right, a spot of climbing. You remember what to do, Robin, yes? Both hands holding on tightly, please. We've got one of those hitch units. Those birds will steal anything. Robin, you must save him. Where's that pterosaur going? You know the rules, Higgs. Get out. Oh, yes, sorry. Yes, as I suspected, the Wix is offline as well. I don't think this is a coincidence. Something is conspiring against us. Something bigger than both of us. I'd wager those pterosaurs are behind this power outage. Let's find the proof so we can exact a fitting revenge. Climbing this power cable all the time, Robin. We must install a proper ladder for you. Look at this. The wind turbine has been savaged. The blades are everywhere. I'm telling you, Robin, those pterosaurs will rule the day. Oof. Blade detached. Good work.
Well done, Robin. Power is restored. Your role on board the Esmeralda could easily have been in construction. Now, don't waste all that food getting that creature to perform party tricks. Do you ever listen to me? With the wicks online, we can shift that debris. Well, you can. Good. Nothing like a spot of tidying, eh, Robin? Outrageous! What you said was true. Those pterosaurs have a Higgs unit in their nest. A crew unit, no less. This has gone too far, Robin. There are some risks involved, but I'm sure I can rely on you to get him back. That's Deserve property. Bring it back.
unsophisticated but cunning nonetheless. to give it a scare. Laika! It Roar. can't make it. <laughs> Roar! <laughs> Roar! Roar! Do it again! Do it again! Roar! Oh, oh. I enjoyed that. I confronted crew member Lawrence Command. He's being pig-headed. I'm in pursuit, tailing him through Columbus. Put it on record that he's insubordinate. He shouted, screw the mission. He expressed dissatisfaction that he would never make it to Tyson III and was not permitted children, so why should he have to suffer to the benefit of others? He says he plans to enjoy life now and, I quote, to hell with Tyson III. Command, Lawrence is now calling every tube apartment he passes just to force its Higgs unit to answer. This obviously interrupts their life-sustaining work. Command, I've followed Lawrence back to Magellan. I must say I don't much like it here. The people look at me like I am prey. I can imagine them tearing me apart to find something valuable they could trade for food. I could almost imagine them trying to eat me. They do look hungry. I wish we could make an arrest, but you are right. We can't risk civil disorder. We don't want to make this Lawrence fellow a martyr. Times were desperate after the deep space event. It nearly destroyed us. We couldn't live as we had before it. Some had to do without. Those whose children wouldn't make it to Tyson III suffered terribly. <coughs> Thankfully, they stopped the madness, but people weren't comfortable working together after that. We didn't realize it, but the colony mission was in jeopardy. You were Columbus crew, of course, selected for your genes. You are a born survivor, Robin. to drop. <laughs> 
sorry to take liberties with your safety in there. Got a bit carried away with that whole revenge thing. But the pterosaurs learned a lesson, and you discovered something about the Esmeralda. So all good then, eh? I'm not sure you heard me last time, but I think it's time we did some real science. If you scan animals, I'll add them to the infotarium.